you, you know that you have lots of needs, don't you? Can, can you name one? Something we need? Air. Air. What else do we need? About food. We need so many things. But don't you think that God really cares about uh, not just our needs, but our wants too? Because we want a few things that maybe are pretty special. Philippians 4.19 says, And my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. But I do believe that he does satisfy our wants as well. Our story today is about a little dog named Rags. Rags was a sad and lonely doggy, a little puppy. His three brother puppies had been sold, but nobody wanted him. Several boys had peeped over the alley fence at him, but they only laughed at his forlorn look and walked away. The rope that held Rags to the for sale sign was old and worn. Rags jerked and pulled on it because he wanted to find his brothers. At last, the rope broke and Rags ran away. Down the alley, he went as free as a bird. He did not know where he was going, only ran on and on. When he was a long way from home, a man drove a truck close to the curb and got out. He came over to Rags and picked him up. He thrust Rags into the truck where three other dogs already were, and then he drove away. The man was the dog catcher, and he took Rags to a smelly place called the Dog Pound. A hundred or more dogs in screen cages were all barking and crying at once. Their noise frightened Rags. He was put into a cage with a big white collie. A man brought him food. Rags ate it and lay down close to the collie and tried to sleep. Three days passed and no one came to claim Rags. The time was drawing near when he, this is the sad part, with the other unclaimed dogs would be taken to a dark stone-walled place. That's Rags. Called a pit where they would all go to sleep and never wake up. Things looked very bad for Rags. Then a man and a little boy came to the pound. The pound keeper walked with them from cage to cage until they stopped before Rags and the collie. If you want a pup, he's a good one, though he's not handsome to be sure, the keeper said. Rags saw the boy's smiling face. He wagged his tail slowly and looked at the lad with his sad brown eyes. Gee, Dad, that puppy looks as if he's never had a friend, the boy said. Here, pup, here, pup. Slowly, Rags went to the screen. May I have this one, Dad? I like him best of all, the boy told his father. If you're quite sure you want him, Bill, he certainly looks as if he needs a friend, Bill's father replied. Well, He'll have one after this, promised Bill, as the keeper of the pound put Rags into his arms. Now, don't you think that that little uh, boy, Bill, didn't really need the dog? Do we all need a pet? A lot of people would say yes, because they give us love. But can we survive without one? Sure. So... If we want a pet, and, and there's a little one that's lonely like that, I think God is looking down on that little rags puppy and feeling so sad for him. And he's looking at Bill, the little boy, and knows he wants someone to take care of. So I think God, because he sees everything in our whole world, and he knows each of our hearts, and he knows what we need, and he knows what we want, and he wants us to be to realize he's the one we can go to. Like in Philippians, what were the numbers in that text? Did anybody hear me? Philippians 4, 
What was the other number? 19. God will provide all of our need. And I think our wants too. I think it won't bother God if we stick wants in there as well. Because he loves us so much, doesn't he? All right. You may go back to your seat. 